Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. We've got some interesting and potentially game-changing updates to share today. If you've been following along, you know that we've been keeping an eye on both US politics and the global economic landscape especially the developments surrounding Iraq and the Iraqi dinar. Well, today, there's an intriguing twist that could have a big impact on the future of the Middle East and the currency markets. Earlier this week, President-elect Donald Trump won the vote in Dearborn, Michigan. Now, at first glance, this might seem like a typical election outcome, but it's far from it. Dearborn has a significant Middle Eastern population, and it's been known for its strong connections to both the US and international communities, especially Iraq. So, why is this so important? Well, Dearborn's vote speaks volumes about the political shift in the use and it's likely to resonate far beyond Michigan. Trump's win here could signal a major shift in US foreign policy toward the Middle East, with potentially profound implications for Iraq, the region, and, yes, the Iraqi dinar. The question now is, what does this mean for the future of the dinar and how could it impact our investments? Over the last few years, the geopolitical landscape in the Middle East has been anything but stable. But Trump's victory in a city like Dearborn, one with deep ties to the Iraqi diaspora could suggest a new approach to US-Iraq relations. With Iraq's ongoing efforts to stabilize its economy and increase international trade, changes in US foreign policy could be just the catalyst Iraq needs to push forward with major economic reforms. We've all been hearing a lot of buzz about the potential for the Iraqi dinar to be revalued or whether that happens next week, next month, or next year. But what we might be seeing is the beginnings of the political and diplomatic shift needed to make that happen. Trump's stance on international relations has always been one of change and unpredictability, but one thing's for certain his administration is likely to push for a more active role in the Middle East, and Iraq could benefit from that. Think about it, if US-Iraq relations improve, it could lead to more foreign investments, greater stability in Iraq, and perhaps a faster path toward currency reform. The Iraqi government has been working tirelessly to strengthen its economy, stabilize its currency, and meet international standards. With the possibility of more support from the US, we could see movement in the right direction for the Iraqi dinar. Now, let's take a look at what the Dinar Gurus are saying about all of this. As you may know, the Dinar Guru community has been following the news out of Iraq closely, and there are some important posts circulating that are tying this shift in US politics directly to the future of the Dinar. According to the latest updates from several Gurus, the victory of Trump in places like Dearborn sends a message that the US may be ready to re-engage with Iraq in a more meaningful way. This could set the stage for Iraq to accelerate its economic reforms, including the much-discussed revaluation of its currency. Some of the latest posts from the Gurus suggest that Trump's win is a clear indication that the US is likely to have a much more direct hand in Iraq's economic development moving forward. Whether it's through support for the Iraqi government, military assistance, or financial investments, this kind of engagement could provide the momentum needed to move the dinar evaluation from the realm of speculation to reality. So, where do we go from here? First off, Let's take a breath and keep our expectations in check. While there's a lot of optimism, we all know that things in the world of finance, currency, and geopolitics can change quickly. But with Trump's victory in Dearborn and the shifting dynamics in the Middle East, it's clear that the stage is being set for potential change EU both politically and economically. Over the next few weeks, We'll be watching several key indicators to see if this momentum translates into real change. First, keep an eye on any changes in US foreign policy toward Iraq, especially in terms of investment and military support. Second, watch for any signs that Iraq's government is ramping up its economic reforms or making moves towards stabilizing the dinar. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about Trump's victory in Dearborn, Michigan? 
Do you believe it signals a major shift in US-Iraq relations? And more importantly, what do you think it means for the future of the Iraqi dinar? Are you more optimistic about revaluation happening soon? Drop your thoughts in the comments below we always love hearing from you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming updates. We'll be following this story closely and bringing you all the latest news on how these geopolitical changes might affect the Iraqi dinar and your investments. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more updates. We'll be no back with more information as things develop. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.